Now, let's see. Mm. When Bert and I started courting, <clears throat> he came over to the house this first time, and uh, Daddy was so shocked to find out he came to see his little Luann, and uh, he took out a bottle of that Jack Daniels, some some sort of real hard liquor, and started doing shots with him like it was a pong game or something, you know, he thought he'd just try to keep them there for me, and um, he got so drunk, the two of them, and they fell on the floor, finally fell off their stool, and the dog went and cuddled up with them, and got all hairy, I had to take out the vacuum, you see, <laughs> vacuum them off before it came, so I, I was vacuuming all the hair off them, and that vacuum hose got stuck. Stuck on his neck there, and I was pulling, 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 trying to get up, left a big old hickey on him. You know, he came to and went home. It was early in the morning. Probably had to go, I don't know, milk some cows or something. Who knows? But he, he left. He didn't even say goodbye. And he came back the next night, and he said, he asked my daddy for my hand in marriage because he didn't know what went on the night before, but he knew we had this big old hecky, so he thought, no, oh, we done, woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, no, but my dad named him Kiss. He was so drunk. He was funny, though. <laughs> well, I straightened him out, you know. I, I didn't want anybody want my hand in marriage over something like that. I wanted him to truly love me for who I am. And, and Bert sees right through. He's a good man. A man marry somebody like this, you know. He sees my heart. He knows I'm, I have a good sense of humor, although my sister said he's the one with a sense of humor marrying me. But anyway, good old Bert. I just love him. And, um, he says, you know, he knows I'm not going to run off with any other man. I'm just going to love him, love him, love him. And, you know, he's darn right. I don't got a lot of people like trying to steal me away.